Hello everyone, welcome to Learn to Spark. In this video, you are going to learn about a quick square root method to find the root of perfect square numbers, which works really like magic. Using this, you can find the root of any number of digits in just 3 seconds. So just watch it till the end without skipping the video and develop your fast calculation skills. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, you have to memorize the squares of first 10 natural numbers and you might write it down initially and remember the sum of 10 which comes from the combination of 1 9 2 8 3 7 4 6 and 5 5 now see the magic of this combination just check out squares of 1 and 9 have got units plus 1 which means 1 square 1 and 9 square 81 both are having 1 in its units place. Like that, 2 square 4 and 8 square 64 has got 4 in its units place. Similarly, 3 square and 7 square has got 9 in its units place. Check out 4 square 16, 6 square 36. Both have 6 in their units places. Units place 5 comes from the square of 5. You just have to remember this combination of 10 in order to get the units place of the roots. Now let's check out the quick square root method. Initially, you just write down the squares of the first 10 natural numbers if you cannot memorize. Okay, let's begin with a 3 digit number 784. Split up the number into two groups, last two digits in one group and remaining in another. Let's consider the number in the first group which is 7. That falls between two perfect square numbers 4 and 9. Take down the roots of these two numbers that is 2 and 3 and multiply them. You will get 6 and then write down the smallest root of the numbers that is 2 here in your final answer. Then consider the units place that is 4 here which might come from the squares of 2 and 8. Now which one will come down for your final answer you have to consider the first group containing 7. As 7 is greater than the last multiplication result that is 6, you have to consider the greatest number 8 and take it down for your final answer. So the required root is 28. Isn't that a magic? Let's check out another sum. If you memorize the squares of the natural numbers, you could do it even more faster. Let's use a 4 digit number. Split up into two groups, last two digits in one group and remaining in another. Now consider the first group which contains 54 which falls between the perfect square numbers 49 and 64. Now consider the roots of these numbers that is 7 and 8 multiply them you will get 56. Now take down the smallest root that is 7 for your final answer. Now consider the units place of the number that is 6 here which comes from the squares of 4 and 6. Now which one to take for your final answer 4 or 6 for that you should consider the first group which contains 54 as 54 is less than the last multiplication result 56 so you should consider the least number which is 4 here and take it down for your final answer. So your required root is 74 see how simple it is. Now let's do one more sum to clear our concepts using a 5 digit number initial process are same group it into 2 last two digits in one group and remaining in another group now consider the first group that contains 114 which comes under the perfect square numbers 100 and 121 then find the roots of these two numbers that is 10 and 11 multiply them you will get 110 then bring down the smallest root that is 10 here for your final answer then consider the units place that is 9 here which comes from the squares of 3 and 7 now which one will come down 3 or 7 you know what to do now consider the first group containing 114 which is greater than 110 so you have to take down the greatest number out of the two that is 7 here bring down 7 for your final answer and the required square root is 107 isn't that simple and easy so practice a lot until you get your perfection in it and get your calculations done in just a few seconds like a magic to score more in less time Check out the end skin videos as well. At last, I have a small solicitation for you. 
If you find this video helpful or motivating even a little bit, then please subscribe this channel to support us and share it right now with your friends or loved ones to motivate them as well. You can also leave your valuable comments about the topic of the next video you would like to watch because our sole objective is to help you. That's it for now. We will be back with a new video every other weekend. Until then, keep learning, keep sparkling. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.